Hi, it's Andrew Grant here and uh, I'd like to tell you about a phone call that I just did or a teleconference that we just did on the Our Internet Secrets um, teleconference um, call today. We uh, had a fantastic call today um, and why it was good is because we were talking about how to fail like a champion. Uh, how to fail like a champion. What do I mean by that? Well, uh, over the years of doing business and observing uh, what people do who are successful and also observing uh, people uh, who are also uh, maybe not as successful as they should be, uh, I've noticed a couple of things that have happened. And one of the key things that I've noticed is uh, the mark of a true champion is not so much about what they achieve, but the thing that gives them really the success is how they manage failure. Okay, so how they manage failure. And that managing failure is very, very important because um, the people who, uh, are, who get ahead and are able to um, really uh, make a success of their life are able to manage failure uh, in a way that most people don't. Um, so in the talk we covered a number of things uh, that how people manage failure and, uh, and particularly what champions do to, uh, to get to over that failure. One of the things that we uh, really need to understand in this area is that everybody has, a, has failure to, any, to certain degrees. Uh, so uh, there's a bit of a myth out there that the champions never fail at anything. They're always winning, they're always out there, and they're always uh, doing well. Well, champions fail, um, and sometimes champions fail more often than uh, people who don't achieve anything. Uh, it's because they're out there actually doing it. If you're not failing, good chances are you're not actually doing something. Uh, and we talked about uh, Thomas Edison, the inventor of the light bulb, and what we uh, remember of Thomas Edison, and when you look into him, um, did you know that he failed over 2,000 times in trying to invent the light bulb? He tried 2,000 times uh, trying to get that light bulb invented, but he persisted and was able to uh, make it happen. Now, uh, it's how he managed the the uh, nine nine. Sorry, but how he managed the one thousand nine hundred ninety nine failures that led him to the success of the uh, when he succeeded in making that light bulb, and he was able to change the world through that success. So, how do you manage failure? What did you uh, would you perceive uh, persisted like uh, Thomas Edison did? Okay, or how would you manage all those failures? Uh, and it's still to come out a winner at, at, at the end. So in this talk we also uh, covered uh, a number of techniques of how to identify what you bring to failure at a subconscious level. Subconscious, subconscious mind is very important uh, and how it affects us uh, and, and so on. And you need to understand that your subconscious beliefs um, around uh, your success and your failures will affect the outcomes that you have in being successful. So. Why don't you come and join us? Um, if you're a member of Our Internet Secrets, come into the site and have a listen to our talks on how to fail like a champion. See you soon.